All right, we got a few things to say about Dianetics, but I thought that first we'll let L. Ron Hubbard say something very important, very key to what your understanding should be about Dianetics. The whole problem of therapy down through the ages has kept falling over a fact that the human mind could record when it was unconscious. That fact was not known. As a matter of fact, that's the first thing which people seem to contest in Dianetics. First thing to know about Dianetics is it's very much in use and as applicable today as it was in 1950 when LRH first published the book Dianetics, The Modern Science of Mental Health. People still have aches and pains, they have emotional upsets, they have problems in their life that they don't know where the where it's coming from, they feel like they're not themselves. All these kind of things are just as valid and just as prevalent in the society today as they were in 1950. A few less, I could say, <laughs> because some people have had auditing on Dianetics. Now, I got interested in the subject uh, in 1971, as I said earlier, uh, by reading the book. It's the book that's going to be attached here or linked here. You can find it, download it, read it, uh, get the, what you call it, the How to Use Dianetics DVD. And you can start auditing and co auditing, in other words, working with someone else immediately. But I read the book and I was very fascinated with some of the key concepts, and like uh, the one that LRH just mentioned that while unconscious everything is being recorded. That's such a key and fundamental understanding to have. I'm going to put up, or was put up in the beginning, the definition that uh, this is not hypnosis, it's not psychoanalysis, anything like that. But Dianetics from 1950 onward kept being developed. Uh, of course Scientology grew out of it. And I should say that if you don't know Dianetics, you don't understand Scientology. You might watch a video or watch, uh, read a blog or Google it or something, but you really don't. I'm sorry. It's the only thing that, uh, the only way you can understand the subject is to actually read and understand Dianetics. Know all those parts, know those mechanisms of the mind, and they're going to be important all the way through your entire career in Scientology. It's not something like, you know, you learn it, that's like baby steps, it's the first thing you learn, and then you go on to the big boy stuff. It's not like that. Those basics run all the way through up into the OT levels. When you're solo auditing yourself on the most advanced levels, you have to understand Dianetics and the principles that are going on with the human mind and the spirit. Now, Dianetics, like I said, kept being developed. Uh, the earliest um, Dianetics was published in Book 1. And there were some advancements through the years, but by 1968, LRH developed what was called standard Dianetics, and I'm going to throw out another term, uh, engram running by chains. In other words, chains of incidents that were causing, that caused people problems in the reactive mind, in their spiritual past. These traumatic things are connected together like chains, like uh, an anchor chain or any kind of a metal chain you've seen. And they're hooked together by certain characteristics that make them identify one to the next and cause problems in present time. Fast forward another 10 years in 1978, the release of New Era Dianetics for OTs was released, but also just New Era Dianetics. And this was a giant leap also, another huge advancement in the subject because it gave a bunch more tools to the auditor to the person who wants to learn the subject and uh, practice it on others and uh, the uh, percentage or the uh, quantity of gain from auditing just went out the roof and uh, it released a whole bunch of new rundowns, what we call rundowns, in other words a series of actions uh, aimed at handling a specific thing, like let's say Drugs. Now, drugs are handled on the Scientology bridge in numerous places, but 
in Dianetics, it really gets to the core of why somebody has the impulse to take drugs and why they get addicted to drugs and why uh, even uh, prescription drugs, not just street drugs, but prescription drugs and, and these addictions and these compulsions and these needs for drugs. And it's, uh, it's got some very deep-seated things about it. Anyway, the Dianetic Remedies uh, approach to, or the rundown for handling the mental and spiritual and emotional and physical addictions to drugs is quite comprehensive. But there's a number of other rundowns uh, included in the NED New Era Dianetics by 1978. And really, uh, 1978, that was the, uh, the high point and that's where we're at today. It's still in use and still very valid. I should also mention that there's been a lot of knockoffs, a lot of copies, a lot of people have taken bits of Dianetics and utilize it. There's one you may have heard of called uh, Traumatic Incident Reduction. It's basically early Dianetics that's a bit repackaged, different name, and uh, it's out there. The many, many uh, counselors and so forth use this and help people with PTSD and grief and depression and all sorts of things. So Dianetics has, uh, is a very workable tool. I'll be doing other videos on it. I'm going to put some links for you to follow follow up and uh, uh, learn more, read the book Dianetics and Modern Science of Mental Health, get that DVD on how to use Dianetics and do not think that you're, you know, you're, uh, you're missing out or you're just going back to the, to the junior league or something if you learn about Dianetics. Trust me, it's going to be something. If you want to go OT, if you want to go all the way with Scientology or you just want to understand have a basic or a real legitimate understanding of the subject, you need to know Dianetics. All right, so subscribe, you know the drill, subscribe and like, comment, we'll uh, hopefully follow up with you in the comments section and thank you very much for watching.